What is going on everybody? I am back playing even more Pokemon Infinity. In the last episode, I got cut. So, I can explore some really cool stuff. Like, what's going on over here? I saw some shenanigans going on over here. Some bad guys with like a Gengar. They were doing some stuff. This is like a cemetery. Ooh, this is spooky. They got a little fog. I like it. Ah! Wanna fight? Have respect for the dead. You'll be joining them. Ugh! God damn, they're gonna kill me? Please don't kill me, Ripley. <laughs> Please. Oh, nice. Believe it or not. Oh, level 42. This is going to be a tough battle. I like that Magmar sprite, by the way. It makes his head look a little bit less like an ass. Magmar totally just has, like, butt cheek forehead. Okay. Um, I'm taking some damage here. I'm switching, actually, into Flameo to resist this fire damage. Yeah, I don't know. My team, uh, am I high enough level to tackle this? I feel like I might not be. Maybe I should go to Echo Drop Cave. But, you know, I am curious. I am inquisitive. I want to see what's going on over here. Ooh. All right, you want to boost my fire damage? I'm fine with that. I mean, you can see it is boosting your fire damage, but it's going to be my fire damage soon enough. See? See? Oh, yeah, Burb. Burb is going to be getting a lot of EXP now. Haunter? Fine by me, dude. Check this out. My fire damage is boosted by the sunny day, so uh, get wrecked. Wow. I wonder how much damage I would have done without the sun. Like, did it make enough of a difference for me to get the one shot? I don't know. Slacking. Okay. I love how he's just picking his nose. I relate to that immensely. I'm just sitting there picking my nose. Looking like a big blob. Covet. Ooh. Hey! Give me that shit back. That's my charcoal. Oh. It was bound to miss eventually, but I was hoping it wouldn't miss on one of those turns. Crap. Well, that sucks. Uh-oh. Hey. Oh my god. Slacking is pretty good. He's pretty strong, I guess. But, I got Burb in here now. Burb has close combat. In close combat, is pretty good against slacking. <laughs> so, uh, so suck on that, dude. S on that. <laughs> it's so sick, suck. Could you imagine if somebody, like, was so offended by saying suck that they, like, instead of saying suck, they said S? Man, this S is. Man, you S. <laughs> I can't imagine. I mean, I can't I can imagine. <laughs> It'd be funny. Uh-oh. I'm burned. Thankfully, I'm not going to be doing any physical attacks, at least. I'm going to take some serious damage, though. That kind of hurts. Oh, come on. Don't confuse me. Come on. Don't burn me and then confuse me. Come on. Come on. Don't do that. I'm just going to go for it. YOLO. This Ninetales doesn't really know too many good moves. Just Confuse Ray and friggin' Ember. I mean, could you imagine if it did, like, Flamethrower or something? God. Now that would be scary. What a morbid defeat. It was just a morbid battle. A little existential dread never hurt anyone. It hurt me. This place is scary. Project Obsidian. Aw. Wait, and script cohesion. I actually played that game. I remember playing Obsidian. Capsule Quest. It did what it was supposed to do. That's so cool. References. References to uh, Atomic Reactor's like, past uh, project. The bones are the money. Here lies Project Kanto HD. Was too large for its own good. Rose gold. Aw. That's so awesome. Here lies some dirt. The future. It's already coming on. You didn't know it yet. Oh, I need strength to go into that cave. Man, that is so freaking cool. References to past projects. I appreciate that immensely. And there's a TM up here. Shadow Ball. Oh, ooh, that's pretty good. That is pretty damn good. I think I definitely want to teach Shadow Ball to Alakazam. Uh, the question is, can anybody else learn this fantastic move? Ripjaw can learn it. Weird. I might just have to do that. Sorry, Recover. I, n I, I never ended up using Recover, but I might use Shadow Ball. That's just a good move. Now, the question is, how are Ripjaw's stats doing? Are, are your attack and special still comparable? Yeah, I mean, they're basically, like, the same. It's only six off. If I... Freaking cut thing. I want to keep Iron Head and Bubble Beam because they're at least moves I have stab with. You gotta get that same type attack bonus. 
You gotta be using stab. I want to go heal, but I also want to go get a TM real quick. There's so many things I want to do. So much to do, so much to see. I also need to go back and uh, use cut to get even more items in the previous areas. I got, I got a lot of stuff to revisit. Astral stone. Okay, okay, I'm down for that. Smackdown, now that's pretty good. Smackdown versus Raw, you know, get some John Cena action up in here. All right, let's go here real quick. We got so many things to do. I totally just bit my tongue there too, ow. <laughs> All right, let's heal. Let's heal up my boils. Uh, playing through with an egg the whole time is definitely like a little bit of a handicap, and I kind of dig it. Because if I had a full team of like 645 people, they'd be crushing. I mean, my team's still doing pretty decent. I did have to use max revives against that last trainer, um, Howlet, so, uh, you know. You know, it's not too easy. I want to get this treasure chest, though. Give me treasure. Give me the treasure. Yes. Luxury balls. Cool. Cool. Firestone. Cool. Cool. Sunstone. Oh, cool. Cool. That was just okay. Rock slide. Okay, cool, cool. I'm glad I was able to explore and see that. Let's see, wait, couldn't I just do this? Yeah. Okay, let's fly on up uh, to Frost Drift. Okay, so I could go to Palkan Heights through Koros Cave and Echo Drop Cave. Let's do Echo Drop Cave. Let's see what, uh, let's see what it's like in there. God, I love this song. I feel like every time I come into this town, I have to mention that I love the music. Like Heart Gold Soul Silver music. Mwah. It's chef's kiss. It's say it's it's magnifique. It's it's a. Uh, I almost said say la vie. <laughs> it's say la vie. You know. Oh, are these the pupils? Echo Drop Cave is a little smaller than I imagined, but maybe there's more to it over here. Oh. Oh, and then there's wild Pokemon too. And I mean, there was Gravelers out there, so naturally. But uh, I was anticipating. There to be a little bit less. Oh my god, a Gibble? Oh, and a Riolu. Oh. I might have to get this. I might have to get a Riolu. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, now that I, I know I can encounter them now. There's Gibbles and Riolus in here? Frick, man. It makes me want to, like, maybe get rid of my egg. So Gibble would be a good replacement as well as um, Riolu. So if the egg hatches and it's not anything interesting, I'll, I'll plug in a Gibble or a Riolu. Could you imagine? Oh, Riolu, oh. Although Gibble might be the better choice. All right, please don't die. Damn it, I keep on killing everything. I need to use weaker moves. What am I doing? We train in this cave against the wild fighting type Pokemon. Well, I'm trying to find a, I'm trying to find a Riolu. So can you, can you point me in the direction of one, please? Oh, okay, Hitmonlee. That's not a Riolu, but uh, I mean, I'm still down to fight. I'm down to get some EXP. See, these people are only level 36, which meets, which leads me to believe that the cemetery is where I should go after this, not before. I got my order. My order feeling basically correct here. Oh, not a one-shot? Dang. Ooh. That might still kill- oh, never mind. <laughs> I was about to say- I thought I was gonna maybe die there. Dynamic Punch used to scare the crap out of me from, uh, Gold and Silver. What's his name? Chuck? The Fighting-type gym leader? Did he have Lock-On on his Pokémon? I think he did. Or is it, like, Mind Reader or something? You could train here, too! Thanks! I think I will. Oh! Maybe I should pop a Rappel. Oh, Excadrill would be pretty good as well. Excadrill is like really good. All right, if you can survive the side beam, I'll also catch you, Drill Bear. Plus it's level 39. Damn, it died. <laughs> Oops. Oopsies. Hey, that Bulldor just totally slid into my way. What the hell was that? I just got blocked. Sorry, Bulldor, but I'm not actually interested in you. I'm not interested in a Boulder. I'm interested in a Riolu. Sorry, Boulder, but <laughs> I said it before and I'll say it again. Leave me alone. <laughs> Go away, Boulder. 
Uh-oh. Have you come to explore the rest of Echo Drop Cave? I have. I don't have strength, though, so I don't think I can. I bet you I can't explore yet. I'll explore more later. <laughs> I will explore more later. Just for now, I gotta pass, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Lucario. God, I want a Lucario. Lucario's so good. Fighting type, steel type, freaking A. Metal sound, weird choice. I mean, I guess if he's gonna hit me with like Aura Sphere or something though, that makes sense. God, I want a Lucario with close combat. Just crap all over everything. Lucario's so good. Ah, shucks. Ah, shucks. It runs deeper, but you have to have a pretty strong team to venture further. I think there's some dojo trainers that train deeper in the cave. Oh, but I don't have strength. Oh, no. Oh, what's this? Psyshock. That one's pretty good, right? That's the one that uh, uses the offenses special, right? But then it does physical. That's so weird. So it's my special attack versus their physical defense. Kind of cool. There need to be more moves like that, honestly. More things that subvert your expectations and flip the values on their head. Ooh. So are you one of the pupils? Hello. Look at that reflection, those are pretty nice. The humidity in this cave is perfect for a fighter's joints. I couldn't really get the impression that this cave was humid, but uh, I'll take your word for it, Rose. All right, throw, hit him with a side beam. Get him out of here. Ooh, and it's a one shot. Get him out of here. A sock. I just saw my health go up also. I must have gotten one or two HP EVs from that guy. Enough to push me over the threshold. No, oh, it wasn't a one-shot. Crap, he's got sturdy. Uh, that hopefully doesn't kill me. Cool. I was about to say. I was about to pray. Thank goodness. Let's go, Mind Freak. I'm getting so carried. Could you imagine if I put the Lucky Egg on him? Oh, and it happened. And it happened. Well, rest in peace, everybody else. I got Psychic now. Losing is good training. It sure is. Now, for the thing that I said I was gonna do, I didn't forget. First, I'm gonna heal, because you know me. I like to be healthy. Now, here's the thing I said I was gonna do. PP Max, Psychic. Yes. Yes! And raise my special attack? Yeah, I'm down. Aw, oh, yeah, I'm down. Aw, oh, yeah. Kick, dodge, kick, kick. Ooh. Aw, oh, that's cool. Doing a little training. God, I gotta say once again, those rock smash rocks, I dig them. They look nice. Have you come to battle? We're already training. Aw. I just said, heh. Oh, this guy wants to battle. Can you beat all of us regular dojo trainers? I think I have. I've beaten just about everybody else. I think I, uh, okay, Rashad, you wanna fight? I think I beat everybody. He's the last guy. Well, <laughs> this is gonna be the easiest one. Because of Psychic. You know, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. I can't just sweep everybody with Mind Freak. I gotta get Burb in the mix. Come on, Burb. Let's go. Let's go, Burb. What I need is, like, Brave Bird or something on Star Raptor and just, like, nuke him with, like, insane flying type damage. That would be cool. I'll let him fly. Let's go fly. You're a pretty accurate move, right? Ooh. He's going for counter and stuff? What are you doing? What are you doing, dude? Nice. I'm glad that I can at least do decent damage there with Fly. What's up? Easy. If you can beat all of us, I bet the Dojo, ma do do dojo Master will battle you. I call him the Dojer. The Dojer Master. I think I did beat everybody. All right, Dojo Master. Fight me. Let's go. Oh, it just immediately turns into a battle. I was expecting him to give me a choice. Whoa. Ip. Oh, is that a reference to, like, the movie Ip Man? Look at that. That's a pretty good battle spray. I really like the, the red, but, like, the yellow accents. All right, Ip. You're about to get... You're actually about to get destroyed, Ip. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guy. Oh, critical hit, too, for good measure. Come on. I didn't need that much. I would have got the one shot anyway, so I'll save my crit luck for later. Uh, for Sock, I'm actually going to mix it up here. I'll get Bolt in the mix. The reason I'm mixing it up here is because the last sock I fought had Sturdy, 
And I ain't trying to mess around with that this time. Oh, he's faster? Crap. Well, hopefully this uh does a lot of damage. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, Bolt. Oh, god dang. That was good. All right, what else do you got, buddy? Oh, Crab Hammer. I could actually take that. 190? Um... Yeah, screw it, whatever. Let's go. I'm a champ. Will I switch? Yeah, I'll get bourbon. Let's uh, let's play the field. Let's use all my Pokemon. Don't just only use one. Ooh, level 42, my champ, huh? Huh? I bet you Aerial Ace will do uh, over half. Hopefully it does. Oh! That almost got a one shot. If I did fly, I would have got a one shot. Uh oh. I think I'm dead. I think I'm. Oh. Never mind. Revenge? That did like. That did jack shit. That was a weak-ass move. I was expecting that to do way more. Conkledur. Ooh. I'm actually not going to swap here. And I'm going to go for the YOLOs. Big boy fly damage. Oh, he knows Rock Slide. Okay. He's got some super effective moves. Please die. Oh, he barely lives. Crap. Oh, man. I'm not going to get to utilize that lovely uh, Lucky Egg experience now on Burb. That sucks. When the person with Lucky Egg dies, or I guess not dies, faints <laughs> when they get KO'd. It's a real shame. That's some bonus XP I'm missing out on now. I got that FOMO. I got that fear of missing out. I got, f <laughs> instead of FOMO, I got like FOM XP. Fear of missing experience. It's just foamy. Fear of missing EXP. So the prize is all mine, huh? What do we got? <gasps> An expert belt. Nice. Power belt, nice. Is this all the uh, training items? Black belt, nice. Power weight, Dude, I got a lot of training stuff. Oh my gosh, power bracer. Okay, I thought maybe I was gonna get even more stuff. Like, um, there's those other items that are like specifically for each EV gain. What did we get? So we got a lot of like belts and then the power bracer at the end. So expert belt is good. Slightly boost the power of super effective moves. That's good. Okay. Promotes defense. Ooh, boost fighting. There we go. Uh, HP and attack. Okay. So the only, I'm missing out on three of those items still. I need like one that promotes speed growth, one that promotes special attack, and then one promotes special defense. That was pretty cool. A cool little dojo side quest where the people are training in the adjacent cave. That's really cool. And the fact that that cave can connect to another place later once I have strength, also really cool. I do need to still consider going over there and catching a Gibble and a Riolu. I'm gonna make one quick little trip to see if the Gibble respond. <laughs> come on, come on, Gibble. Although maybe I don't need it. It is another dragon type, but Garchomp is just so good. All right, I'll ch I'll check it out. I'll, I'll I'll do a little quick sneak peek. Oh, Gibble! Oh, Gibble, are you here? Crap! He's dead. <laughs> he dead. I could still catch a drill bear though. I mean, I mean, that could be good. But the question is, maybe sending in Ripjaw is good because then he'll hit me and then hurt himself. Yeah, there we go. And then if I do like a cut or something, that shouldn't do too much damage. Although this is actually gonna be really tricky to try to catch him with Ripjaw. Oh, shit, that did too much damage. All right, maybe I'm just bad at catching Pokemon now. Maybe that's what it is. What I really need to do is send out like Ampharos and do like Thunder Wave or something. But for a lot of these Pokemon that are ground type, I can't hit them with Thunder Wave. I don't know if Gibble's ever gonna come back. I'm sorry, Gibble. I let you down. I killed you. Or maybe I just KO'd him and then he left. <laughs> I mean, how would you leave if you were knocked out though, you know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think you know what I'm saying. Okay, I'm gonna go check out that cemetery some more though. And then after that, I guess I'll fly back and talk to Professor Thorne. My theory is there's something going down on the cemetery, or in the cemetery. That's my theory. So my theory is I could fight some members of like that villainous organization, or they like Team Flash or something. Hello. Some people are buried with fancy artifacts. Not me. On account of the fact I'm not buried. <laughs> I would not like to, though. See, this is why you learn Shadow Ball. A psychic on psychic. Take this. That's probably why I should get rid of knockoff, honestly. 
Uh oh, what's he got? Zen headbutt? That's probably not gonna do too much. That did okay damage. It just gives my physical defense is ass. I got physical defense that sucks. All right, what else you got, mister? Oh man, Cotton Guard? That's pretty okay, right? Drastically raising defense. That sounds pretty good, but I'll have to pass on it. I'll keep my guy in, because I want a Psychic Gliscor. Why is that not super effective? Like, does flying resist Psychic or something? What's going on here? Oh wait, never mind. I'm stupid. He's not poison. He's ground flying. God damn. I totally misplayed that. I was like brain farting like crazy. Now this could be really good or really bad. So if he hits me with like Earthquake, yeah, this will be really bad. <laughs> I was hoping that that didn't happen. Oh, come on. And a crit too. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, please, no. All right, so don't Earthquake me, please. Please don't be faster than me also. Uh, die? <laughs> Uh, please die? This is actually gonna be a tough battle. Oh, he lives! Shit! Alright, please don't kill me. Oh god, thank you. Alright, Nostril Flare? Yes. God dang. Earthquake, extra Excadrill? Very scary. Very freaking scary, man. Uh, I think I'll keep my guy in. I'm faster, right? I'm faster than you. You don't even know 2 plus 2. Take that. Bada boom. It's gonna be that easy, baby. Oh no, no! Suck on that, Stanley. Dude, these people are difficult. <laughs> A lot of these battles are kind of kicking my ass. I mean, I'm not playing them optimally, but uh, they're still kicking my ass. Oh, Gothita, nice. I've been playing more Pokemon Go lately, and uh, I've been catching some Gothitas near me. I still don't have the full form, like the full evolution. I think that's Gothitelle. But yeah, I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Go lately. I'm trying to hit level 40 before um, December 31st. I'm like level 39. And dude, today, I was just like popping some lucky eggs and get some excellent throws. I got like 600,000 experience in Pokemon Go today. Because I was like sitting there grinding. It was crazy. I'm at like 1.4 million out of 5 million right now. Uh oh, what do we got here? Palkon Trail. Listen to this music. What's going on here? I do feel like I need to heal. <laughs> North Palkin Heights, South Genesis Forest. Oh, there's Buffalance and everything? This could be bad. My team's not doing so well. I should uh, reel it in. I'm kind of like going out like crazy exploring here. I kind of should reel it in. I'm not looking to like die or anything right now. I do have some repels. I mean, some revives. I really just refer to Revives as repels. I gotta sort my uh, inventory out. All right, there we go. I'll pour some lemonade on them and everybody will be good to go. There it is. There's my lemonade. You drink up, drink up, and drink up. Look at that. Good as new. I got a healthy team. Now I can venture forward to that Palkin path, but I wanna go up this way. I wanna see what's going on over here. I knew you'd be here. Oh, did you now? They just know everything, huh? Okay, well, if you're so smart, then, uh, explain this. Why are you dead? Oh, <laughs> so stupid. That's like my weakest trash talk ever. Oh, oh my gosh. High jump kick, uh, not working out too well for the AI so far in this playthrough. High jump kick is kind of, ooh, flamethrower. Ooh, that's good. Oh my gosh. Sorry, Fire Fang. I'm a special attacker now. Although I still have Brick Break on my guy. Giraffe Rig, will I switch? Um, Who would I even switch to? I could just, you know what, let's, I got Flamethrower, I'm gonna use it now. I'm gonna showcase it. Come on, Flameo. Let's go, let's go. Flamethrower! Oh! That's probably doing a lot of damage, right? Yeah, and the burn, yeah! That's good stuff. Perfect. Zen Headbutt's a physical move. So when you get burned, cutting that stuff in half, that was awesome. Perfect timing. And Nostril Flare ought to do it. And that ought to do it. What else you got? 
Zatu? Ooh, I can switch for this. I got an answer to this guy. I got an answer to you. Its name is Bolt. Tailwind? Whoa! That animation uh, looked like the wind was flying into him. It, I guess it just didn't reverse direction for the uh, other team using it. It's like, here, Tailwind. It's actually wind blowing into my face. Future Sight. Uh, I'll pass on that. I don't really like Future Sight that much. Brave Bird. There it is. That's what I said I wanted. All right. I'm getting rid of Aerial Ice. F it. I'm going for like a YOLO build here. On <laughs> My Star Raptor is just going to be YOLO as hell. I'm going to be Brave Birding. I'm going to be close combating. I'm just going to say F it. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going big damage. I'm going to go big or go home. Although... Maybe since it, <laughs> I'm going to hurt myself a lot with my moves, so I'm going to go big and then go home. Time gets us all. A person's name. You don't recognize it. None of our names will be recognizable someday. Jeez, they got some existential stuff in this game. Some existential dread. You keep walking over people's bodies to read these. Oh, shit. Sorry, bodies. <laughs> There's some very funny dialogue, though. I dig that. The ghosts in these parts can traverse dimensions. We can't even observe. Oh, yeah? Like the Nightmare Dimension? Psychic Eric, huh? He's got a hip now, huh? Yeah, this will be an interesting battle. Some Gen 1 Psychic types. I guess Alakazam was always more favored to Hypno. You say, is he hip? No. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> All right. Oh, a little Swaparoni, huh? Ooh. Bronzong. This could actually, uh, never mind. I was about to say, this could be bad for me. It's not going to be bad for me. I think it's going to be just fine. Yeah, I don't, swap again, why don't you? Keep on swapping. I don't care. Keep on swapping without stopping. Eh? There you go. It's a little rhyme. Hypno. Hmm. I've seen you before. Look at his nose, too. It almost looks like a, like a foot. Or something. Oh, he, he, he's done. Let's move on. Someday I will join these ghosts. Oh man. Claiming grounds with your remains seems a tad selfish. Yeah. <laughs> just do a... Uh... Oh. I was about to say, just do like a cremation or something. I don't know. That's uh, that's some interesting stuff. Graveyards in Pokemon games. Always uh, eerie. Oh, person's name. Yeah, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I think I've reached the end of the graveyard, right? I just have to go up this way. Oh! I'm ghost hunting. I hope my net works. Are there any bug ghosts? Is he going to throw out one of those? Bug catcher Cletus? I didn't comment on it before, but I really like that bug catcher sprite. Okay, I think I'm going to switch Mind Freak out for this guy. <laughs> Alright, Mind Freak, I'm sorry, but uh, I'm not using you today. Pincer. Oh, shit. That could actually hurt real bad. Okay, that was, that was alright. That was okay damage. Pincer, uh, pretty strong. Oh, crit. God dang. God dang. I didn't need it, but I'll welcome it. I'm down for some crits. Scolipede, I'm down. Scolipede, I actually thought Scolipede was super freaking cool when I first saw it when I was playing through Pokemon Black. Another crit. God damn. Flameo, god damn. So I used a Scolipede on my team, and it was, like, messing people up. I was doing a lot of, like, PvP battles. This was, like, back in high school. Oh, a Shed Ninja. That's cute. That's cute. <laughs> I love how its health is just one, so it, you see it deplete, like, instantly, a little, a little plop. I haven't caught a ghost yet. Well, best of luck to you on that ghost catching. I bet you there's a hidden item up there. I bet you. I bet you five whole dollars there's a hidden item up there. Let's take a look. Hey! All right. Looks like I win that bet. <laughs> uh, I wish I had strength. I could explore more. But... You know, having cut, I can explore a decent amount still. I kind of want to go see what's going on up on, like, the Palkin Heights and stuff. What's going on over this way? What's going on over here? Like, what's the deal with this place? Palkin Trail. Interesting. Let's take a look at our map. Let's take a look. What's going on over here? Oh, yeah, I have it registered. I don't know why I did that. Cool. So I can go down to Genesis... Or I could go up to Palkin Heights. And then that would actually connect back to... I want to get... There was like a treasure chest around there. No, wait. I think I already got that one. I do need to get back to Thorn's Lab. 
but maybe I could get there by going up this way? Huh. I do want to see what's going down here a little bit, though. Shoot. Oh, shit. Did the spirits speak to you? Uh, I think so. They've been saying, get out, and calling me stupid. That's a cool sprite, by the way. All right, guy. You're going to die. Energy ball, baby. I could have just used shadow ball as well. I think either of them would have been equally as effective. Shared its power with the target. Okay, fine. Fine, dude. Ooh, spirit home. Now I should have used... Uh, actually, no. I guess I'm just going to keep on using energy ball. F it. I don't want to use a ghost move into spirit home. I can just energy ball him. Uh-oh. Whoa. Whoa. What the hell? It also didn't have an attack animation. Ominous wind, huh? Well, that sucks. Crap. Mind Freak keeps on getting the crap kicked out of him. But Mind Freak is also the one seeing the most battles. But god dang. Taking some damage. That ought to do it, though. <laughs> Flamio's gotcha. Flamio's gotcha. Now for Claydol. Oh, I could send in Ripjaw for this, actually. Come on, baby. Although, if he does Earthquake, that sucks. That steel typing is just hurting me, honestly. The steel typing? Not ideal. Because I want to be able to handle ground types. But ground types have just been handling me. I'm glad Crab Hammer hit. <laughs> Crab Hammer hit, at least. I can't say my words. Defeat! Yes, you have been defeated this day. Alright, let's heal up my dude. Heal up my Mega Mind. My. Mind freak. I need to end this episode now, though, I think. So I'll pour some lemonade on my Pokemon. And then I'm going to say to you... Uh, I guess I'll, I'll use some water also. But then I will say to you guys, thank you so much for watching once again. I appreciate you. And uh, yeah, in the next episode, I'm going to try heading up to the north to where Palkin Heights are. And I think it'll be pretty freaking cool. I hope it will be. I mean, if it's anything like the rest of the game, it will be pretty freaking cool. So, yeah, thanks again for watching. I appreciate you. And until next time, I hope that you all have a good one.